Even though Prison Realm is able to seal Gojo within it, then why didn't Kenjaku do it earlier? Because Kenjaku knew that getting Gojo wouldn't be a simple task. Therefore, Kenjaku developed a complex, multi-faced plan in order to finally seal away the world's strongest Jujutsu Sorcerer once and for all. Kenjaku's plan to seal Gojo consisted of luring him into a small space filled with civilians in order to prevent him from fighting the disaster curses individually. If Gojo fought the curses by themselves, he could easily destroy them with no difficulty. But by forcing him to fight in a crowded subway full of innocent people, Gojo couldn't utilize his full strength or risk causing more causalities. Kenjaku forced Gojo to fight multiple powerful curses in a crowded subway station in order to put stress on the unsuspecting sorcerer. All Prison Realm requires is a split second after the user chants, Gate Open, in order to take hold of its victim. But for someone like Gojo, a split second is still too slow. That's why Kenjaku needed to tire out and distract Gojo, aside from forcing Gojo to use his cursed technique to minimize casualties in the subway. The other way Kenjaku was able to distract Gojo was through psychological means. By taking control of Suguru Gato's body and revealing himself to Gojo at the pivotal moment, Kenjaku was able to throw Gojo off just enough to buy time for Prison Realm to take hold. Because Gojo had killed Gato himself years prior, seeing his old friend's face again was such a shock that Gojo was unable to figure out exactly what was happening. By the time Gojo realized that it was an imposter who had taken hold of Gato's corpse, it was already far too late as Prison Realm was bound to his flesh and had sealed away his cursed energy.